the early days, we were searching for supermarkets who would partner with us to promote local fish. And I still distinctly remember this guy was telling us, if you got fish, doesn't mean that the market will buy. Yeah, this, is a, this is a funny thing. And it was very discouraging. But I had this feeling that we just shouldn't give up. While it's very tiring, I think the message of supporting local is the thing that drives me forward. So my farm is an open sea cage farm based on long time traditional methods. Can you see? They're swimming and they, they like to swim round and round and round and round. We want people to know that the fish are subject to the open waters. That makes the fish more firm. A bit like free range chicken, you know? If you look at our farm, it looks like a very traditional farm. But what we've done is to try to incorporate some technology inside. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to slowly edge the fish over. And meanwhile, we have people who are taking photos and videos of the fish. See? Simple. So our objective is to take care of the fish, not take care of the equipment. And so we come up with a good system to do the counting, but without having massive equipment on the farm. It was really eating me to death it forced me to look outside so that I wouldn't be eaten by the bitterness. One of my long-time hobbies was to go out on a boat and that's how I happened to meet with some farmers and uh, they shared their life with me. A lot of them were struggling. So mussels comes from nature. Some years you have bountiful harvest, some years you have poor harvest. Come, come and try. Ling 不行嘛,這樣下去長久我一定沒辦法生存了嘛,所以我才慢慢改去養一樣啦。那時候講好我們要跟來嘛,要講要invest。I have been doing IT for 20 over years at that time. And here comes this area which is so new. I felt that this was an area that I like to be involved in. Aguan is the type of person who's very, very hands-on. Every, every wood, every nut, every screw, everything is all done uh, by Aguan and the team. For our farms in Lim Chu Kang, uh, we have a possible low dissolved oxygen uh, situation. It means there's not enough oxygen in the water and that basically 
uh, means that the fish will be under stress and maybe even suffocate to death. And if there's a problem, it will basically alert and wake up the farmer. Like he'll switch on the pumps, aerators, he'll switch on the motors. And this is to pump oxygen and to move the water so that the fish are not stressed. I think there's some divine guidance on both of us to be able to come together. So he has the opportunity, I just gave him the opportunity. 变成是很好的 friend 了，像兄弟这样，可以算是兄弟了这样了。Yeah, that's right, that's right. I send to, I send to my staff. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good, thank you. <laughs> Focus. Yeah, we are here to grow fish. Yeah, yeah. Following our success with Aguan. We had a lot of requests from our customers to have different species of fish. For example, sea bass and snapper. have this opportunity to be part of a big R&D uh, initiative called Aquapolis. What we want to do with Aquapolis is really jump. Good morning, yeah. so, so here I'd like to give a brief introduction for the Red Snapper uh, Genetics Project which is uh, funded by SFA and uh, we have a... Uh, The Singapore aquaculture sector contributes significantly to the 30 by 30 goal. Fish production is one of the more resource efficient way of producing protein. Essentially, what Malcolm wants is to have uh, snappers that can grow faster, have higher survival rate, and have better flesh quality, such as the omega-3. So this is where we come together with the researchers to uh, develop the methods to get better strains uh, for the farmers. So can you see the, the larvae? They are all clustering around here. Selective breeding is an ongoing process. We will need to keep improving them from generation to generation. Yeah, this is good. Huh? You can see this is the snapper larvae. Fast forward to today, we are the farm that has the widest variety of fish like milkfish, grey mullet, golden pomfret, red snapper and our baramandi. And we're hoping to increase this because our customers are always looking forward for new things. We want to make it easy for the consumer. It's got my proud face on it because we are so proud of the fish, Singapore fish. We want to make sure that the fish is widely available. So we work with the supermarkets, online platforms, restaurants. We visited many supermarkets, but without FairPrice giving us the first opportunity, we would never be where we are today. We 
as a group of farmers have a message to let people know that there are such farms here in Singapore and you can do your part by supporting local. When I started this journey, it is not just about producing fish locally, but it's also about the people around me. So I'm very blessed because we, we meet all these nice folks, you know. Really, we are really blessed. I hope we will continue to I am still 50 years old, I can still years Thank you very much for supporting us. Yeah, yeah, this is so wonderful that you come and support local. The journey is not over, but it's been very fulfilling and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it today.